All right, what is going on my dudes? We are back here today with one more war video of season 18. This is going to be the highlights of the last, um, I believe it is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, five wars, the last five wars of season 18. And uh, the reason why it's gonna be so many wars in one is because I took path nine um, for about four out of five of these last wars, and they were pretty much exactly the same. It was Mordo on Aja's Heavy and Nova on Aja's Intercept. So I'm obviously not going to show that five times because that's just insane, right? And I've already shown both of those fights so many times. So up first, we do have a different kind of thing here. We have a Doctor Doom on Path 8, all right? So um, I just was pretty much really trying to avoid pushing this guy to a special two. I have 21 spores up on him and he's just melting. So I'm trying to bait out that special one, but he is just not having it. And he's pushing me all the way back to the corner, but he's slowly melting and I'm kind of healing from willpower when he gets close enough for the long distance relationship. Here I baited out that heavy and I had enough power to go in and just finish him off with some basic attacks. So we got through that pretty easily, uh, not too much trouble at all. Up next we have a rank 3 6 star Korg on Buffet Special Lock 1 with Long Distance Relationship. This is a very, very beefy fight, so I'm tossing on a potion so I can get to max health here, and we're gonna go in, alright? Um, I was looking at my boosts here, I was thinking about uh, putting on like a green boost, but I decided I could just go in. Oh, I guess I did put one on. Never mind, never mind. Uh, this was a while ago at this point, so I did forget. Um, I think I'm putting on a 20%. Yeah, I put on 20% just because this is a uh, rank 3 Korg. So I'm going to start this off like any other buffet Korg fight. I'm going to bait out a heavy attack, and we're going to go in here, and then I am going to parry him. And I made a mistake here. I went for a medium heavy without checking his limber first, and unfortunately his limber was too high, but it's not that big of a deal at all because we do have those two debuffs on us now, so we're going to be healing from willpower for pretty much the rest of the fight. And this rank 3 six star Korg is already half dead dude he's got 27 spores on him locked in that degen I'm just letting those spores do the work man I'm just continually just letting him drain uh, one more heavy attack and now from here on out he's just gonna be draining dude he's at 10% and I could just hit into him and I could have tossed off that special one and healed a little bit but I just went ahead and killed him with the basic combo so I do have a Mordo on Aja's heavy here and it is another rank 3 it is a rank 3 Mordo, six star dude. So um, I'm not gonna show the entire fight, but I am gonna show this one part that I showed in the beginning because I thought it was really, really, really funny. So I went in here and I parried him and then I <laughs> waited out his uh, his little stun thing to avoid the astral evade and um, he parried me with stand your ground and then he comboed me. So that was a lot of fun, but I did get through that rank three Mordo uh, and I got the full attack bonus. So I've done Mordo and Ajax Heavy many, many times now. Up next, we have a pretty tough fight. We have a rank to Mysterio on Aggression Fury. So this could be a really, really tough fight if you let this guy get to special one and toss it off. So I fought Mysterio with Warlock on my channel a couple times on Buffet, but I've never shown it on Aggression Fury. Um, but basically what I want to do is I just want to parry and uh, heavy or parry light until I get that infection on him because I literally never ever want Mysterio to get to a single special one. I don't even want the green bar to light up, all right? Now, there is an extra added level of difficulty when we go on Aggression Fury because if we let those Furies build up, well, even with the armor up off, it's gonna be uh, doing some decent damage whenever we do the parries, all right? So as you can see, we've parried a couple times now and um, we're already down to 77% health because when he stacks up those Furies, like when he gets two Furies, he does a decent amount of block damage. So we're already at 75% health. It's not the biggest deal in the world and I'm not too concerned about it because this is the only only fight in the entire war that I'm using Warlock in, so I could end at 1% health for all I really care, but obviously I want to make sure I don't slip up and uh, miss a parry there, but I'm going to toss off this special 3 while he has, I believe he had 2 stacks of infection up, he may have had 1, but either way we're going to be healing a tiny bit and he's going to drain his power all the way down to 0. Um, 
he went up above one bar of power for a second because I tossed off that special three, but not the biggest deal in the world there, you know. Uh, he didn't really have a chance to throw it, and uh, so far he hasn't been above a bar of power besides that moment. Um, at this point, he is down to 17% uh, health, give or take, down to 15% health, and we're going to build up to a special two and launch it off, and that's how we're going to finish the fight. And uh, yeah, man, that went really, really well. That could potentially be a very, very tough fight. Mysterio gets uh, kills in war for being sneaky with that special one very, very often, so you always want to look out for that. Um, up next, we are going to another war in section one here, and this one actually had Spider-Gwen on Aja's Heavy instead of a Mordo. So I went ahead and threw this into the video as well. Um, so yeah, man, with uh, Spider-Gwen here, it can be pretty um, interesting because she can evade the second part of a two-part heavy, but like as you can see right there, um, so you really want to just uh, be very, very focused while you're throwing off that uh, heavy attack so that you can be ready to dex if she does dash in on you after she evades. But once you get those uh, uh, just heavy things off, um, it's pretty much just a normal fight at this point. Spider Gwen isn't the best defender as long as you can stun her, all right? Um, so at this point, I'm just baiting out that special two here and I'm um, just trying to keep at least 10 spores on her if I can. Um, I wasn't able to lock in too many um, just because I was playing a little conservatively, just because I didn't want to get caught after her evading, you know what I mean? So here there's the backup recovery, so I'm gonna try and bait out the special one. As you can see, she has five of her Spider Gwen charges, whatever they're called um, at this point, so I really don't want to be hitting her when she isn't stunned because I just don't want her to be evading. But what's so great about Omega is that you could play incredibly passively, and um, as you can see, she's just draining, dude, and my health is uh, pretty much at full, and I've been hardly hitting her. You know, I've been parrying, letting the spores build up, do a medium or a light, um, maybe throwing off a heavy if I'm feeling risky, and we're going to be ending this fight with pretty much a full yellow bar here. So um, yeah, I'd say that fight was pretty successful. Um, after this fight, we did have a Nova, an Aja's Intercept that I took with Doom, and I sold it, and it was uh, very, very easy, and it was all very, very good. Um, I'm not going to show that fight because I've showed that many, many times. Um, I think I have the beginning here, but I'm going to skip to... I had a mini boss in the middle. I took this Venom on Aggression... Um, what's it called? Aggression Armor. And... Um, yeah, I wasn't originally going to take this fight, but we were waiting for somebody to take it and people couldn't move, so I figured I would just take it and uh, get this guy down. Um, you know, normally when I fight Venom in like quests and stuff, I'm very aggressive with him and I push him well above special 2, and then I try and dex out his special 2, and I usually do it, but when I'm doing it in war, I really don't want to be dealing with his special 2, so I'm going to try and just bait out his special 1 as much as I possibly can, but as you'll see in this fight, he was being pretty stingy with his special attacks, man, so um, I played a lot of this fight just um, parrying and just letting the spores do the work. You know, I could have tossed off the heavy attack here but like I said I just want to bait out that special one at this point he's already down to 10 spores unfortunately so this fight is probably going to be a little bit longer than I wanted to but as long as I don't eat a combo to the face or push him above to a special two I think we're good to go you know I have the death field up and he's up to 27 spores again up to 30 full spores I probably could have tossed off the heavy attack but here I'm just gonna quake him in the corner and just bait out those heavy attacks and just uh, get him down this way you know what I mean he's just not the throwing off that special one, but here it throws it off, so I dexed all three of the beams there, and I'm gonna toss off a special one, and I'm going to regenerate a ton of my health, and I'm going to finish this fight at about 90%, bait out one more special one, and there we go, dude. So one more basic attack, and we are done with that Venom. Um, yeah, I mean, he has a lot of health, man. That was about 220,000 health, so it's not the smallest fight in the world. Um, up next, we're jumping over to Path 9. This is Reverse controls um i took path nine like most of the time for like this entire season man because when i do reverse controls i just swipe the other way i don't um doesn't really bother me too much i don't do anything special i'm just 
pretty good at it. I've done it a lot. I do it in AQ a lot. Um, and up first we have the Stealth Spider-Man, and Stealth Spidey can be uh, pretty tricky with that evade if you aren't ready for it, but once you get that evade out of the way, you know, you can counter his heavy with your heavy attack like I just did right there. And if you're using Omega, you could just let the spores do the work. As you can see, man, this guy is just draining. This is a rank 5 Spider-Man, but it doesn't even matter, dude. We're gonna even heal a little bit. We're healing up a tiny bit at the end of this fight. Very, very nice. Now up next, this is a very, very interesting fight here, man. Um, so I'll tell you what happens when we get to it, but I made a pretty decent mistake in this fight. Luckily, I did come back from it. But, um, you know, Omega is a very, very good matchup for Black Widow Clairvoyant. Now, keep in mind, she is a flow defender, so she's going to be gaining a lot of power uh, because of flow periodically. Now, watch this. Watch this, man. I'm going to go back. We're going to watch this in slow motion, okay? I dex out. I dex out of her special one. I immediately go in, but I get parried. And here's what's happening here, man. She's doing a full combo, and she's ending with a light attack, and now she switched over to her Curse of Plague. So now, since I'm poison immune, she's going to consistently be gaining more and more and more power on top of the flow, and she also is going, because she's going to continue to try and place poisons on Omega Red. So this is going to get very, very tough very, very fast, and I'm being very, very weary to not dash in after I dex out of her special one, so I've really just been, I was parrying it in the beginning just to be safe, you know what I mean? Now here she has 20 clairvoyant charges already, and she has 3 stacks of flow, but I keep parrying that special one. It's doing a lot of block damage, but I'm parrying the special one so I can get rid of flow, man. So this was a pretty decent spot for Black Widow Clairvoyant, but um, I feel like if I didn't have that little mess up in the beginning, this fight would have been over a lot faster because she would have continually be placing bleeds on me. But um, yeah, man, I guess you can't dex out her special one and punish it anymore. But um, we got through it, we didn't die, and that's all that matters, man. Um, up next, we have a Quake fight. I believe I did speed this up. This was that middle mini boss in section two, the one with the limited immunity at first, and she goes unblockable every uh, couple seconds, every eight seconds, I believe. So this is pretty much a stun immune fight uh, for the first like 25 seconds, but once that's over, it's a pretty normal fight, man. Just gotta watch out for that unblockable. Um, yeah, man, I mean, I've taken Warlock many, many times with Quake. It's not the hardest fight in the world. His animations are very, very large, and he's uh, pretty easy to see what he's doing. So it's not the hardest thing to counter, especially with Quake. Uh, if you don't have Quake here, Medusa could be a decent option, but you do have to worry about that limited immunity. Um, up next, we have a Symbiote Supreme mini boss with on the breakthrough and stun immunity. Thing is by far the best option for this guy. Um, I did make a small mistake in this fight, not, not even necessarily a mistake, but just something that did make the fight go a little bit longer, and I'll show you what that is when we get to it. Um, but yeah, Symbiote Supreme is flow, um, so you do want to worry about that power gain. Um, there, you know, I got the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the protection active, so he hit me a little bit with this combo, but it didn't do too much damage at all, so not the biggest deal there. Uh, tossing off that special two, but he is stun immune here on this node. So we're just parrying a bunch to build up those rock stacks again. Um, this is the last fight I need thing for, so I'm not too worried about taking some damage, all right? Now, um, one thing that's really, really great about Thing against Symbiote Supreme in general is that he's completely immune to nullify, all right? So you can dex and do whatever you want and just be a normal fight. You don't have to worry about anything, okay? Um, so yeah, but before when I said that I messed up a little bit, it was just because I went and I used my Unstoppable to uh, lose my combo, right? And um, I think I may have been mistaken because I was thinking it was... Uh, what do you call it, uh, combo party or some of the node, but the breakthrough doesn't really get affected by losing your combo, so I guess I didn't really mess up in that fight at all, and it went really well, so that's pretty cool. Uh <laughs> Let's see, up next we have this middle mini boss we are doing with Quake. This is an Ebony Maw fight, and I believe I forgot to speed this one up for you guys like I usually do, uh, so sorry about that, but this is a really quick one. Ebony Maw goes down really, really fast with Quake, uh, even on a mini boss, dude. So um, Quake is really like the best option for Ebony Maw nowadays. Uh, the second best option would probably be Human Torch. I like usually use Human Torch in quests and stuff, but there's just like not much you have to worry about at all 
all when you're using Quake. As long as you can just Quake and shake your heart away, he'll be dead in about 35 seconds. As you can see, he's already dead right now. Um, one heavy attack and he's just gone flush down the toilet there, man. Uh, let's see, what do we have next? Up next, we're jumping back to another Path 9 video. A lot of these videos are very uh, jumbled back and forth here. Um, this is going to be a Dr. Voodoo. Now, Voodoo isn't the toughest defender in the world, but he could be kind of sneaky because he is a flow defender and he does have that projectile special too, all right? So um, we do want to try and bait out a special one just because it is reverse controls, um, just to make life a little bit easier for everybody, all right? We do have 23 spores up on this guy, so we're going to lock in that degen, but unfortunately he did get up to a special too. Not the biggest deal in the world, man. We're just going to uh, dex that out and we did miss time the heavy there but we got it right there he has 20 spores he is ticking down and we're going to toss off a special one and we are going into the next fight at 95 percent so very very nice there um i forget what the, the i think it was like a blade or something there um but I think we're jumping back to another war, actually. This might actually be, it was the last war of the season here. We have a Captain Marvel movie on that shared mini boss, okay? It has uh, the protection shielding and close encounters. It's very, very similar to the Captain Marvel in 6.3.4, the boss in Act 6.4, or 6.4.4. And um, yeah, man, when you fight Captain Marvel with Doctor Doom, it's a very, very, very simple fight. I could have tossed off some more special attacks here, but I was just, uh, uh, saving the recoil damage pretty much so this lady was dead in less than 30 seconds dude i don't really like captain marvel movie as a defender guys to be entirely honest i feel like she's a pushover um up next we have this corvus glaive on um what do you call it on counter tactics and special delivery and kinetic transference all right so um yeah corvus could potentially be problematic here if you're not ready for him he could kind of be problematic anywhere if you aren't fully prepared for him but um dr doom he's gonna handle him just fine i was healing up a little bit it wasn't actually necessary i don't think but i believe this was the last war of the season so we wanted to make sure we can try and secure masters here so i just wanted to make sure we got as many attack bonuses as possible all right um so we're going to just bait out the special one gonna go right in here we're just gonna be heavying him and keep in mind we do have that special delivery so i do have to toss off a special attack very soon but i want it to be a special two just so i could do as much damage as possible i don't really need the utility of the special one at the moment those incinerates are going to take him down very very nicely um here yeah man he's almost dead dude um one more special attack and he's just going to be flushed down the toilet um yeah one special one and uh that's it man this corvus glaive is just done probably should have brought that guy to attack you know what i'm saying <laughs> um i think we're gonna show one more fight here and this is against vision argus on that 200 percent mini boss as you can see my omega red is dead here and that was from a different fight with human torch human torch is currently bugged on defense and i think i'm gonna make an entirely separate video just for that fight so that's why i didn't show that but um that was one of my only deaths in the season and it was from a bug and i was pretty annoyed about it um but we'll talk about that at a later date so um we're gonna be tossing off an invulnerability boost here just in case he pops up to a special three or he hits me with a special two all right a special two is pretty hard to dex there and it is uh, unblockable so that just takes one out of the three invulnerability hits um, so that's why you toss that on here basically you just want to build up to a special three and it's very very easy when you're using dr doom against vision because you're going to be stealing all of his power gain buffs so once you toss off a special three well the fight is like pretty much over and you're going to see how crazy it is right after this animation finishes all right so after you shoot him into the tower there you're gonna do your typical medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, and you're stealing all of his power gain buffs that you're already up to a special three, dude. That is just absolutely insane. Combine that with Mystic Dispersion, and it's just a breeze, an absolute breeze. And after your second special two, you got your Double Fury, medium, medium, light, light, light. We're gonna go medium, medium again, special one. We're gonna steal all of those power gain buffs, toss off a huge special two, and boom all right my dudes that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed it please do me a favor and leave a like comment what you
you think about all these videos in the comments section below and subscribe if you want to see where we place for the season the reward opening video is probably coming out tomorrow so subscribe and i'll be seeing you around very very soon all right see you later my dudes